Hello everybody, yeah, welcome back to Carmsen Farm. So, yeah, no, this is not mine. Uh, I'm doing um, choo -choo. <laughs> totally forgot cultivating uh, contract. Actually, I've done two, so I've leased uh, both of these for two different contracts. So that, yeah, this is a big one. But yeah, workers are going. So. We finally got our corn finished and ready to harvest and I need to move on because uh, looking at the weather forecast it's gonna start to rain and that's not good for business. The yield potential of this one is pretty good 99% out of 100 so that so I got everything ready here. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, I bought some more raisins. Raisins we are allowed to buy. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh yeah, this one is ready. I'm gonna sell some milk. Uh, the challenge has been updated uh, one more time actually. So now we only need to uh, deliver 40 pallets with cereals. I guess the money uh, is still the same, 700,000. Uh, that's not going to be a problem. So, but yeah, the pallet situation has changed. Uh, but anyway, uh, and yeah, oof, I, <laughs> I leased myself this one. Uh, this is the one that's part of the challenge, which you need to lease, and you need to lease it before you start the production. Uh, so I just leased myself uh, a dolly. Uh, hopefully I can pull this with my good old John there. Uh, where are we? I need to start harvesting. Yeah, we need to do this. Bam, bam, bam. This is my last ingredient. What? Unfold? Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, this is the... Um, unfold the tool. It is unfolded. There we go. All right. Yeah, this one I used in the last episode. It's cheap as chips. Uh, I didn't get... Oh, yeah. Oh, precision farming. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. I totally forgot that. Let's see if the score is going up. Oh, I forgot to see what... Yeah, it was 78. Now it's up to 79. And that's because this is a part of the periphery. It's not like a real field. So this is the score for um, all my periphery fields. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, at least take uh, this field and see if we get some more score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. And we need to get that trailer up to factory area. I do have a forklift so everything should be good so then I can start the production of cereal finally. So there we go. First field is finished harvested. Uh, we still haven't got any rain luckily. Uh, we got what 38,000 liter out of that field and yeah now it's ready to get uh, prepared for next one. We are not in a planting season as such, only wheat and barley. Uh, I think I'm gonna save my field cell for oats. Well, I have to do it actually, because I think when I'm looking at the, not that one, uh, on the cereal, uh, oats is the one I have, yeah, less off, so to speak. Now I will get a lot of corn, raisins and honey are good. And planting season for oats is not before March. So one, two, three, four, five months. If I plant wheat or barley now, uh, then I cannot harvest that before after planting season in oats. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, uh, what else? What else? Yeah, <laughs> I got one more field here with corn, and yeah, as you see, um, strange things has happened here. Uh, corn circles, you might say, but it, I think it's actually well. I know it's crop destruction because we have that on, 
Well, I think it was when I was um, soil sampling, either soil sampling or when I did fertilizing at first growth stage. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna miss some here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we need to get going with this guy. Uh, we need to get the... Oh yeah, I want to... Oh, oh these guys, the uh, cultivating contracts are finished. So now I can complete these two guys. Uh, collect and collect. There we go. Uh, yeah, this guy is picking up eggs. Oh, I have to think about these pallet restrictions all the time now. But anyway, that's good. He's good, good. Yeah, this little fellow here. Uh, this is a mulcher. I think it's a mod. Um, let's see. No, it's an in-game one. The, the Knocke or the Noki. <laughs> the Noki Speedmax. Um, it's not the biggest one, uh, but it's pretty quick. It's 18 kilometers an hour, same as the Dalbo one. So I thought, well, let's try something new. Uh, let's see how wide this is. I should have the horsepower to run it. Even got lights. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> Do I have it on the wrong? Do I? Is this a front-mounted one or? Now I'm. Uh, okay, let's uh, if <laughs> just to confuse the drivers behind me. I'm going to the left or the right. So yeah, the. <laughs> but anyway, uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's test this on. Uh, is this a PTO driven one? Do I need to no? Only lower it. There we go. Okay, I'm mulching my grass also. But yeah, let's try to hire a worker here. Bam. There we go. Uh, when it comes to uh, score. It's still at 78%. So I haven't seen that much difference with harvesting this field. Nitrogen is bad. So yeah, so we need to mulch it. We need to fertilize it. Let's see if he can stop here now. Or if he's... Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. You know what I should do during winter time now? I should just uh, I should just uh, plow in between here and make one big field and get rid of this tree, even though I really like this tree. <laughs> but it's a mess. Yeah, okay. So I need to pull out the plow here. I need to get myself something to get rid of this and yeah, make it a little bit easier. <laughs> Uh, what else? What else? Uh, oh yeah, milk, 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 milk. I'm at the sell point on milk. So as I showed in a video, hopefully I released it uh, some days ago. You also get bonus for um, you know materials coming out of your animals. Oh, there we go. Yes. 4,800 in environmental score bonus. Nice. And I have another load with milk. So there we go. We are up to 700,000. And that part of the challenge is not going to be a problem. The problem is going to be the... Uh, well, it's not going to be a problem as such. Uh, the only thing we're looking at the recipe. Where are you there, buddy? Cereal. Yeah, the recipe. One honey, one raisin, two oats, and two corns. It's gonna make two cereal. So to make forty thousand liter. Oh man, that's a that's some math. It's too late. But yeah, it, for, I think maybe I'm gonna need like eighty thousand liter each of oat and corn. Maybe I'm off. 
yeah, my high school math isn't done today. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get this one back, and I'm gonna harvest the next field, and then we can start with the cereal production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, there we go. So now we can find the. Oh, I missed that one. Uh, we can start with the cereal production. We got 58,000 liter. Hopefully that's uh, enough to produce 40 pallets. Uh, the trailer is here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Everything should be ready. According to the plans and regulations. There we go. Get the gun in there. Uh, and this one here, um, boo -boo -boo. I never used it before, so. <laughs> but there is two ways of opening this. You can either load it from the back, or you can open the whole side here. I think I'm gonna do it from the side. I'm gonna use this guy here, and strangely enough, this one actually hooks up to this one. Even though, let's see, where's my flashlight? Uh, even though this is a pin hitch and this one here is a ball hitch <laughs> sometimes these things just works <laughs> there we go <laughs> so now we can do let's see L1 and open back door like so I know there are some uh, ramps uh, that you can put on the back of these and just drive straight into it uh, but I'm gonna do it from the side I think let's see L1 and up on the pad Chook. there we go so yeah I'm, I'm not gonna get the, that last part there huh all right all right hopefully we can get 40 pallets there we should do. Well, we have to, actually. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. This is empty. So now we can go in here. We have honey, raisins, oats, and corn. Oh, almost full. Oh, that's a good one. <gasps> so the capacity for corn is obviously 60,000 liters. <laughs> uh, let's see. On storing, yes. And then I need to activate it. Bam, like so. Anything happening? Yeah, it's going down. It's going down. Uh, we need to move this out of the pallet area. And I wonder how many pallets we will get each day. That's the big question. Uh, where are you there, buddy? This little... Yeah, this little... <laughs> Never leave a worker with a mulcher uh, unattended, that's for sure. Um, if we go into here, you can see this is my field edge, and yeah, he did some mulching. Yeah, if we go here, he did also mulch the grass area. Where are you? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so he mulched everything. <laughs> But anyway, uh, that's just the way it is, so I need to, yeah, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna sell this mel milk, yeah, that's in Norwegian, milk. I'm gonna sell this milk, um, po -po -po -po. I'm gonna spray some fertilizer on my fields, it's going into winter time, uh, I'm outside planting season, uh, I have enough food for my cows through the winter, so I think I might skip winter for this season, I'm going on holiday, I need to feed my animals every day of course, uh, but first of all, yeah, let's, let's skip one day until November. And let's see how many pallets of cereal we get after 24 hours. Yeah, that's the plan. See you in November at 12 o'clock. Yeah, let's let's hope for that. Let's go backwards here now. 
two or three pallets with cereal after almost one day. Come on, buddy. Ooh, oh yeah, we got three. A thousand, a thousand, and a thousand. And yeah, 700, okay. So three, all right, all right. That was 20,000, now it's 17, okay. So that's one for one. Uh, <laughs> all right, so oats, it's gonna be a problem, I think. So, but yeah, it's gonna last until um, at least we can get some, uh, pop, 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 pop. you know what, now I'm gonna try this guy here. Let's uh, disconnect this one. Start engine, lights on. I need to, uh, pop, pop, pop. yeah, how to do this. Um, you know what, now I should have the other forklift. I could buy one. The thing is that I don't think we are allowed to sell anything more now. Oh wow, this is really bad. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get both of these pallets here now. No. Uh, I know there is a forklift with some really long... Uh, no, not that one. Uh, where are you? Forklifts. Um, pop, 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 pop. This one, I think. This one has cover, no. Extensions. Ah, okay, no. I thought this had some really long forks. Uh, maybe it's another one, maybe it's this one. No. Um, I need, do I need to do one and one pallets like so maybe? This is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <gasps> what happened here? There we go. Let's slide into that one. This is not the way you should do it, but anyway. I'm just testing it out there now. I'm just, um, I just want to see the space inside that, uh, do, do, do. this guy here. Oh, wow. All right, all right, this is, uh, <laughs> You can tell this is not the way I usually do this, and that's why it's a challenge. Oh, camera collision, come on buddies, make us a mod for that. Alright, alright, that's two, just another uh, 38. But yeah, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten times two ah okay i think we should be able to get 40 mr cobbler farms he said that he were able to do uh, 40 pallets in this one no 60 i mean but maybe it's better oh we can carry this now oh, of course i'm just i'm not i'm not uh <laughs> gee thing i just want to see is it better to have them this way, maybe? Could I then get three... Like so? Hmm... Let me get the next one. So, let's see. Let's see if we can get, if I can ma oh yes! So is this better? Is it better having three this way or two the other way? Ha! Huh. So six, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
8 against 6, 48. Yeah. You know what? I need to go and watch Mr. Cobbler Farms uh, when he is doing this. He has one of his episodes. He is doing this, but I cannot remember if it's the palace is this way or the other way. <laughs> But anyway, the uh, the serial is ongoing, and yeah, we're going into winter, so I'm uh, I'm gonna keep my animals happy, and yeah, I might see you in uh, I don't know January, February. Yeah, we'll see. When did I say the uh, planting season for oats were? Oats, oats, oats. Uh, March. March, March, March. Alright, alright. I'll see you. So, we are suddenly in March. Yeah, I skipped winter this time. Uh, this year. And, yeah, I haven't done anything with my fields. But, apparently, <laughs> weeds have been growing. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, and the weeds are large, so I'm, you know, I'm not a weed expert, but I'm thinking I'm gonna test out if we can get rid of the weeds at this stage. Uh, you know, before I even planted anything. We are in planting season. There we go, full of green weeds. Uh, so we are in the oat planting season and tomorrow we can plant some corn uh, the cereal factory is going very good is full actually now but you can see I'm running out of oats so we need to uh, we need to get some oats into the ground let's see let's see let's see let's see this is the uh, let's turn on this one and uh, let's see no it is spraying but <laughs> it doesn't seem like the weeds are disappearing we need to check the map actually but this is uh okay maybe we need to plant something first this has just been uh, an empty field you know through the winter I've harvested the last crop, i mulched it, I've done one layer of fertilizer, but yeah, this doesn't work, does it? <laughs> uh, no, the weeds are still there, so yeah, alright, alright, now we know. You know, one of the first job I had in, well, yeah, my life actually. I was like 13, 14 years old, and my uncle had a farm. Well, he had a farm. He's not with us anymore. Uh, but anyway, uh, one of the first jobs I had was to remove these guys. I don't know what they call in English. Uh, in Norwegian, they are called uh, Heimul. <laughs> yeah, I know. So me and a friend, we we had this backpack on our back, uh, like a, a, t a small tank and a small sprayer in our hand. And we went through a whole lot of grass fields on the farm and we were spraying these guys with, it's called, I don't know, I, I don't think it's called herbicide. Uh, well, in Norwegian, it's called... Um, Yeah, I can't remember it now, but it, now, if you're going to use it now, you need like a course, you need uh, protection, you know, personal protection. Me and my friend, we were just walking around on the field, on the grass field, with uh, shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> but that was one of my first job as, um, uh, yeah, a young guy, actually. So, yeah. There we go, so now, uh, then, let's see, this is a direct drill, so this should work. I have it on oats, let's turn it on, and lower it. 
So we should get. Let's uh, put the old uh, small. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, all right, all right. So now, apparently, with a direct drill, the weeds are gone. <laughs> Let's check the map. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Uh, I don't think... Let's see the position farming. The score... Oh, man! Hoochie Mama! The score on this before was like 78. Now it's 93. And that's probably because I'm removing weeds now. I'm removing weeds with <laughs> with a direct drilled cedar. All right, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see on the backside here. Uh, nitrogen is bad. Yeah, of course. I haven't put anything. So, <laughs> all right, okay. So I'm gonna do uh, a headland here at least, and yeah, I'm gonna do this field and maybe one more field with oats, and then uh, tomorrow in April I'm gonna put down some corn because now it's all about the cereals. But yeah, this is a strange one. Wow. 93. Uh, weeds are going away. And yeah, it's growing. <laughs> All right. So I'll uh, see you in a bit. And then, uh, yeah, I got myself some new equipment that we need to test out. All right, all right, all right. So, pallet handling. Uh, I did have uh, this uh, forklift here, which I'm really pleased with. Uh, but I was watching Mr. Cobbler Farms. He's actually the, the guy behind this challenge. And I think this is the one that he used. Uh, the really nice thing about this forklift is that you can whoop, extend the forks. So let's see, let's see, how did I do it? L1, R1, and right stick up and down. Chook. So the reason is because um, now I can hopefully get, um, you know, four pallets in uh, one load. So let's see. <laughs> this is not going to be a beautiful sight. So yeah. Uh, manually handling pallets is not one of my uh, strongest things to do. Let's see, let's see, how did I... These forks here are really, uh, what should I say, thick. Let's see, let's see if we can get two. Oh, wow. What did happen there? Didn't like it at all. It was like uh, a non-collision uh, thing. Let's see, let's see. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Uh, a little bit more tighter, maybe, like so. There we go. And uh, let's get these two together. Oh, did I extend these? No, I didn't. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Two big long johns. So there we go. I got two. And now I'm thinking of just raising them up a little bit. And let's see if I can hit this one right. And push these two to get us. Oh man, that's bad. That's really bad. <laughs> so this was my plan. To do it like so. And now pallets are popping up my back here. Oh man, this is not... Alright, alright, and then... We can fix this, we can fix this. Oh. No, no, no. 
Oh man, I'm terrible at this. That's why I like Utilo trailers for pallets. Uh, cereal is not. Oh, let's take it. Let's force it. There we go. I got two pallets. <laughs> Uh, there's something strange going on with these uh, forks. Uh, it seems like uh, there's like a part of these forks uh, with no collisions. It's like they're just floating in between. And pallets are spawning as... <laughs> oh man, this is a mess. You know what? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to fix this <laughs> and yeah let's see if we can uh, work something out there so this is the best thing I can do I think uh, yes these are liftable pallets so I tried to do uh, some, you know more or less the same as they're popping up here and I've lined my forklift up yeah, like I said, the best thing I can do, the forks are in the middle, they are more or less straight, let's do it like so, all the way down and a little bit up, and let's see if we can get these two pallets, uh, like so, and now we should be able to lift these up, like so. Let's see, we are straight over here. I really admire your, ooh, your pallet skills there, Mr. Cobbler Farms, that's for sure. Uh, like so. And then, easy down here. Don't get stuck. There we go. And then down. All the way down, a little bit up. And... Oh, oh no, no, no! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, there we go. And, you know, the ground uh, leveling also is uh, pretty important here, I think. There we go! <laughs> ah, we got it! Easy now, buddy. Easy. That's uh, four pallets. We only got 36 left. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 man. I need to do some smoothing here. Ay, ay, ay. And the nice thing about this forklift here is that um, you can also uh, move it sideways. Let's see. Like so. There we go. And we should be good there down and I can move these sideways let's see how did I do that uh, you know what I better put them down like so oh 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 easy buddy there we go push them in like so let's see what was the sideway movement not like that Oh, there we go. <laughs> right stick. R3 and right stick. There we go. And now I should be able to push these together. Let's see. No. <laughs> oh, man. This... Uh yeah, go and check out Mr. Cobbler Farms, his series on uh, this one. Yeah, he knows how to do this. <laughs> or maybe I can just spread them out. Let's uh, let's see if we can spread out these forks. Oh, come on, camera collision. Like so. Do I got it there? Yeah. Too much? Too much of the good. Oh man. Don't get stuck here now, buddy.
There we go. So now I got eight pallets. Not too shabby. Eight pallets. I'm I need forty pallets in this one. How did you get a couple of farm? He said that he got sixty-four pallets in this one. That's uh, eight times eight, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So uh, we need uh, we need to get ro rocking and rolling here. And let's see. Yeah, like I said, the oats are going down. Uh, what else is new? Well, yeah, what else is new? Uh, I put some oats in this field now. And I thought, well, let's do some fertilizing. And uh, now you can see my fertilizer is running, but nothing is pouring out. And that's actually because uh, I got too much fertilizer. If you see on the nitrogen now, it's bad. It's 160 kilos per hectare. And for oats on silty clay, you should have 100. So I have too much fertilizer here. <laughs> so <laughs> and I don't know how that happened actually, but uh, yeah, I got too much fertilizer. Uh, last thing I want to test out today, well not test out, I bought myself uh, a new um, new kind of uh, new set of uh, toy and that's uh, a TMR mixer. It's this guy here, the Anderson Smart Mix. Uh, my cows are not feeling good. And that's because I haven't fed them through the winter. So now you can see the productivity is still there and the health is uh, bob bob. Uh, but they don't have any food. I've been feeding them with hay for four years now. And now I thought, well, we are soon getting to an end. I'm gonna, I have a lot of silage bales. I have a lot of uh, hay bales. So I'm going to test out to, um, to give them some um, good old TMR. And I haven't tried this TMR mixer before. I actually haven't tried a TMR mixer at all in FS22. Uh, but if I'm not completely wrong, you only need... Uh, silage and um, hay and since in FS22 all the <laughs> all the bale sizes are uh, differently these two uh, silage bales here are 12,000 liter so you know 6,000 liter each the hay bales are 8,000 liter each so I figured out that yeah, this is going to be a little bit uh, mathematic, but uh, this is 28,000 liter. So now I have uh, 12,000 liter with silage, and then I can have two of these ones, which will make it 28,000 liter. Exactly, I think. You don't need to have straw in it. <laughs> So he says, I don't, I don't think so, Rex. I don't think you need mineral feed. Like I said, this... Oy! Man, come on. I'm, I'm too, I'm too uh, excited to try this now. That's why I'm... Uh... Let's see if we can get one more here. Come on, buddy. Don't make a total fool out of yourself. Let's see, let's see if we can grab that one. There we go. So now I got 16,000 liter here. Uh, I got 12,000 liter with silage. That should make it 28,000 liter with... Uh, TMR. There we 
we go. He's not. <laughs> he's not eating up the hay bale. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's rising, isn't it? Oh yeah. And the bars are green. And yeah. It's working. I could, of course. Uh, let's see. So why I, you know, parked it so close here is because I'm hoping that I don't need to back this thing in. Uh, I have it on tip side right. Um, to, 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 to. Let's see. Come on, buddy. Get me the trigger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Start overloading. TMR. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah. But these guys are going to take a lot. But hopefully the... Um, oh, whoa, 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 what's going on? Oh, yeah, 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 what's going on? <laughs> what's going on with the hay bale there? Uh, okay. Let's see. Turn on mixer wagon. Why didn't it take that? Hey, bail over there. Oh, now I see. That's why I only got 24,000 liter. Can I grab it? <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, but anyway, this one is a mod. <laughs> It doesn't take... Oh, come on, flip it out of there. Come on, buddy. Oh, there we go. Now it's eating it up. Looks like it. Yeah, there we go. We almost got... 4,000 liter with hay. These hay bales, sir, are... 8,000 liter. And now I've uh, ruined up my next mix. Maybe I can sum supplement with some uh, straw. I do have some uh, loose straw. Yeah. But anyway, uh, <laughs> hopefully my cows will be eating this TMR. And yeah, the cereal. Yeah, it's shocking. The cereal uh, production is ongoing. Uh, let's see. This guy is back. So now I've also put down the... Yeah, this feel is a strange one. Uh, but I put down oats also on this. I got oats on this one. And tomorrow we can plant some corn. So then I'm thinking yeah, I'm going to put some uh, corn in this one. And I'm also going to put some corn in my grass field here. So then we should be uh, we should be good with oats and corn. Raisins I can buy. And honey is not going to be a problem. Because yeah, I can just buy some more beehives. And... <laughs> Oh yeah, this is an electric one. Oh shoot. Maybe I'm gonna need myself uh, an electric charger. I need to I need to get these uh, forks in together. Uh, you know what, cobbler farms? Uh, I'm not gonna cheat too much, but since I ruined it in the beginning here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do like so. I think, yeah, but these, yeah, yeah, I know, there we go, now you see, there's no collisions on the forks, the forks are sticking, why is that happening? Is it because I have... Uh, is it because I've lifted them? 
with my hands or is it because the forks are 100% down to the ground let's lift them up a little bit let's let's uh, let's test it out now there we go that's better and now let's try to push these two together oh man that's bad that's really bad <laughs> all right it's a mess it's a mess but anyway we are rocking and rolling this <laughs> this cereal is coming out and yeah i yeah i'm gonna see uh yeah i need to clean this up and thanks for watching by the way and hope to see you the next time i don't need fertilizer that's for sure um <laughs> this this was a strange ending but anyway i'm uh, i'm hoping i'm getting there and yeah thanks for watching again and <laughs> bye bye